60 minutes, Jay Vidal. Joe, I am stuck here with you for 60 minutes, but it's gonna be worse for these two guys who hate each other, who are gonna be stuck with each other for 60 long minutes. I heard on Tinder that they call you the 60 minute man. Is that uh, true? Joe, it's only 60 it. seconds and I know we're gonna call back, but right now it is about these two guys right here. That's about right. Matt Vandegrift, Durbin Dray. Former best friends quickly rising the ranks as one of the best tag teams in FSW. And then the injury occurred to Damian Drake and Matt Vandegrift took off in the singles competition and then felt that he did not need Damian Drake anymore. Matt Vandegrift has said before that he is better than Damian Drake, that he has surpassed him. But Damian Drake does not feel the same. Damian Drake says he could hang. Damon Drake is here to show that he's still the top guy here at Future Stars of Wrestling. You know, for two guys that wanted this match, Matt Vandergriff seems to, uh, maybe you just want to annoy the fans right now because Matt's been doing a really good job of that recently. And it's obvious the fans have chosen which member of the Unguided that they want to back. Yeah, Matt Vandergriff, he is leaving the fans in 2021. He's going solo 2022. Oh, Damian Drake is just drawing the line. Daring Matt Vandergriff to cross it. You know, there's a lot of great candidates for the FSW Wrestler of the Year. You are one of them, Jay Vidal, and Matt Vandergriff is another. Absolutely, Joe. I mean, Matt Vandergriff has been putting in the work inside FSW, outside FSW. He is a top tier talent, and Damian Drake just pushed and damn near chopped the back of Matt Vandergriff. And Matt smiles, a sadistic smile, Joe. We're about two minutes into this 60 minutes, and so far, uh, these two guys, they, they, they're kind of feeling each other out, which is something they know each other extremely well. But I think maybe they're trying to play a few mind games with each other and get this early advantage. To, and the first pinfall, you would have to admit, Jay, is probably the most important. Absolutely. And oh, he just spat gum. Oh! Joe, he put that gum in his mouth. The crowd says it all. These two guys, Joe, when you know somebody in the ring so well, what do you do? You gotta change up your game plan. You gotta change up how you work. These guys usually work so fast. What are they doing right now, Joe? They are working at a slow pace, a methodical pace. Oh, Matt Vandergriff, the power advantage. Look at the muscles, look at the traps, look at the back. Matt Vandergriff putting down the pressure on the wrist of Damian Drake. And right now, both men, as we said, working a much slower pace than what we would normally see. With 60 minutes, Joe, you have to pace yourself. This one is not a marathon, it is a sprint. And obviously, as we said, that, that first pinfall is the most important. So neither man wants to make that first mistake. And right now, as you've seen, Matt Vandegrift with his matches with you and Eli Everfly this year, and even Lacey Ryan, you know, one of the fastest paced wrestlers in FSW. But right now, very methodical. He's taking a body part and he's sticking to it, Joe. You know, both men are confident that, that maybe whoever gets the first pinfall wins it all. Oh. And as we said, Matt Vandegrift, without a doubt, one of the most exciting wrestlers. But, you know, Matt Vandegrift, he, he came here a couple of years ago and really befriended Damian Drake very early on. And these guys had been best friends for a long time. And at this point, Damian Drake feels that, you know, he helped Matt Vandegrift a lot to get to where he is. Well, Matt feels that uh, Damian Drake may have been holding him back. Kind of like with you and Parada. No, 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 this is not like me and Parada are still friends and we text every day, but these guys, Joe, I don't even want to call them friends. These guys were brothers. They have, oh, what a job. These guys have spent Christmas
businesses together, Joe. Birthdays, family events. Oh, and look at them. And right now, only a one count, like we said. You know, one pinfall may do it. You know, these guys know each other so well. They know the reversals. They know the counters. It, it's going to be one big mistake. And to be honest with you, you know, Matt Vandegrift's probably the guy who would be the favorite to make that big mistake because he has such a wide variety of offense and a lot of high-risk maneuvers that if he crashes and burns, Damian Drake, maybe that's what he's waiting for right now. Absolutely, but Damian Drake, he's been getting picked at. He's been getting pushed to that limit, Joe, where what if Damian Drake is the first one to make that mistake? Damian Drake has more anger built up against Matt Vandergriff than vice versa. And all it takes is your shoulders on the mat, one, two, three, and the first pin goes. And again, back to your point earlier, that first pin is so important. The guy who gets that first pin, he already has that one up. The mind games start there. But they continue on for the rest of the 60 minutes, which right now, we are 53 minutes and 30 seconds in. You know, the, and the, the question also becomes, you know, because it makes me think of a, a sport like soccer where a lot of teams get very defensive if they take that one nothing lead. Now, when you're a wrestler, and I know you haven't been in that situation, but do you get more aggressive because you have the lead or do you get less aggressive and you try to be more defensive to just hold on to the lead? That's a great question. It, I, I think it's just going to depend on the guy who gets that first pin. What is, how is the guy who took the pin looking? Is he hurt? Are you going to pick him back up, tell the ref to, to restart the match so you can get that second pin? Or are you going to stay away? Are you going to play mind games until that clock runs out? You know, we will see. And for me, it's like, you know, when I look at both of these guys, I see Matt Vandergriff, if he gets the first pinfall, to be more aggressive. While I look at Damian Drake, who's a little more methodical anyway, if he gets the first pin, that he might be a little more defensive and try to hold on to the lead. So, but I guess we'll see where we go. We will go right now. Guys, they know each other so well, Joe. Look at that, Damian Drake lands on his feet. Uh-oh, but the strain of Matt Vandergriff. But the quickness of Damian Drake. What a kick. He's found his seat after that. And dental work is not cheap here in Las Vegas, Nevada, Joe. A shot by Damian Drake, a forearm to the face of Matt Vandergriff. But Matt Vandergriff, very smart, rolls out of the ring. Ring awareness, Joe. Ring awareness. He knew where he was. He rolled out. He does not want Damian Drake to get that first pinfall. And you know what? The, this Iron Man match is all about pinfalls and submissions. So I'm not sure there's count outs. Forget 2022, Joe. That's suicide dive sentiment to 2023. You know, we are nine minutes in. Come on. This move, this is moving actually very quickly, Jay, right now. Let's go. Let's get him in the string. This is. There you go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Oh. I felt those before, Joe. They do not feel good without consent. Just drop the ribs. Oh, these guys, Joe, they're going back and forth, and they're not. And, th and there's nothing the referee can do at this point. There's nothing the referee can do, and they're not just going with minor offense here, Joe. They're literally throwing each other into these. That, 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 that post right there, Joe, it has so much rust on it. Same thing with that guard round that Damian Drake just tosses Matt Vandergrip into as the fans chant one more time. And Damian Drake is listening to them. Oh! 
me to say it, Joe. I, I like to think I'm a fan favorite, but you cannot cater to the crowd here. You gotta pay attention when you're across the room with somebody like Matt Vandergriff, somebody who's so experienced, who's on top of his game, looking the best that he's ever looked, performing the best that he's ever performed. What an elbow shot to the back of the head of Damon Drake. He's opening up the hands, Joe. Oh no, he's got him closed in. He's clutching the finger. Oh my God. Just breaking the hand of Damian Drake. And he is trying to wear down that right arm of Damian Drake. And in a 60 minute match, if you take that arm out, there ain't gonna be a lot of hope for Damian Drake. Looks like he could have dislocated. Was that not, if I'm not mistaken, the hurt shoulder of Damian Drake? And Matt Vandergriff taking advantage, going right after it. He's like a vulture who sees a dead body pulling the skin off and over his head, the shoulder out of the socket. He is oh, breaking down the fingers, he's breaking down the whole arm jump. And Matt Vandergriff obviously has come in with a strategy. And if you've scouted Matt Vandergriff, this strategy is totally different than what you would have expected. Maybe that's why, Joe, he had to switch it up. He knew that his former brother, his former partner, Damian Drake, would know all of his high flying moves, all of his big stuff. So Matt Vandergriff is changing it up on him. And right now, Damian Drake. Trying to use that right hand. But you can tell it, he is not feeling real good with it. Revenge is a dish that's so cold. And I don't think Matt Vandergriff is going to be serving any dishes with his fingers right now. David Drake getting the revenge now that he needs. And despite being on the ground, Matt Vandergriff able to fire away with those kicks. Joe, he just tagged his hand, but not to tag him in to hurt those fingers. That look to be twisted all sorts of ways. Looks like Matt Vandergriff is throwing up gang signs. Oh, no! They just knocked down Ben. Look at this, Matt Vandergriff is tapped. But the ref, Joe, the ref is down. Oh, deep in. Matt Vandergriff wins the first fall and leads one to zero. Joe DeFalco. Matt Vandergriff just got the first pinfall victory. The mind game start now. Damon Drake is letting that temple get the best of him. He can't do this. Now more than ever, he can't do this. Matt Vandergriff. Uh-oh, he's not paying attention to Damon Drake. And he's just slamming. Good Lord, Joe! First into the guardrail and into the steel post. I told you, Joe, the mind games start now. Matt Vandergriff is on top, and he's not letting down anytime soon, it seems. Oh, my God, he just dropped that on his back. Thinking of that strategy, Jim, I know, if you give up an disqualification to lay the guy out, that might benefit Vandergriff. It very well could, Joe. It very well could. Let's go, Right now, Matt Vandergriff is in control. The shoulder. 
We are a quarter of the way done, Jay Bagal. We are 15 minutes in. 15 minutes in, 45 minutes to go. Matt Vandergrift is in control, and this is scary. There is nothing scarier than a Matt Vandergrift who knows what he's doing.